We made it to 2020, and a new year comes with new laws for our state. Our Madison Forsey joins us live in the newsroom. Madison, break down the changes we can expect. Yeah, these laws are trying to accomplish a lot of different things, from extending even more protections to law enforcement officers to trying to combat the opioid crisis. But a big one that has people talking here in the East is the Raise the Age Law. North Carolina was the last state to approve legislation like this. The law no longer charges 16 and 7 year olds year olds as adults for nonviolent crimes. Motor vehicle offenses will remain in adult court and courts are still able to use their discretion in certain cases, but lawmakers are hoping it will give younger citizens the chance to learn from their mistakes. The idea of, you know, taking a 16 or 17 year old nonviolent offender and exposing them to a system that then becomes part of their life, it really hurts their chances for the future. Some other things we're watching right now, a new law gives women the ability to revoke sexual consent. They couldn't previously take back consent under the law once it was already given. The law also cancels a 2008 court decision that says sexual assault laws don't apply to people incapacitated because of their own actions. Victims of child sexual abuse can now sue their abusers for civil, civil damages past the age of 21 up to the age of 28. And another step in the fight against the opioid crisis, the death by distribution law punishes drug dealers who sold drugs to someone who overdosed with up to several years in prison. For more information on these laws and other North Carolina laws that are going into effect in 2020, you can visit WNCT.com. In the newsroom, Madison Forsey, 9 on your side.